Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the Philadelphia Phillies taking on the San Francisco Giants. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to roll here. And on the hill for the Giants, Russ Ortiz. Chris, how about a scouting report? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Okay, Leading all set to go. And here's the rookie center, center fielder. fielder. Number six. Number six. The pitch. The other way. And it's caught for the out. And time now for the Phillies lineup. And with their ace on the mound today, they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support, and they'll see what they can do for him. You have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. You have to make sure you put him in a situation where he can get the W, but also you guys can cruise to the finish line and not have to worry about a comeback in the end. He's got it. There's two away. Batting third, the third baseman, Scott Rollins. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Scott Rollins. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Pitch. Out into left center for a line drive base hit. Big knock there to keep the inning alive and an opportunity to put something that in the gap good. and give the, the Phillies the lead. Bobby Aubrey. Bobby Aubrey stands in for the Phillies. Juarez glides to his left. Kicks and deals. And it's one and one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. That's a hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. That is good. The catcher. So two down. Number 24, number 24 stands in for the Phillies. Up the middle. It's in and out of his glove. No throw, and the defense comes away with nothing. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Number two, getting ready to hit. Bounce to the right side. They take the force out, and that is the third out of the inning. So they load the bases on three hits, but can't push anything across. Now it's the Giants' turn. No score. Bottom of the first. And on the hill, number 38. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command Leading all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very field. tough for the opponent number today. Seven. Bottom of the first, and digging in for San Francisco, number oh, seven.
Next offering is in for a strike. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The 0-2. Got him. And there's one down. Oh, well, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass. It's not just the pitcher. It's the other guys that have to think about it. From your infielders, no. have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Now here is JT Snow. Out to short. On the run, sends it over to first. Two up, two down. That now we take a peek at the Giants the lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Well, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit. And then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. And a foul ball. Kicks and fires. That's towards center. Number six under this one. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Nothing doing there for San Francisco. Scoreless after one. Back here at the ballpark, top of the second, and Let's now for the Phillies, Desi Leading Davenport. The, Phillies, the shortstop. Desi. And Singy, as a team, Devin you need Ford. to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this, a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. Righty to the plate. Lifted in the air, right center field. Pent on the move. And makes the grab. And a quick out, number one. Now that's a tough play for the infielder, that ranging hit. back into the outfield. The There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. And digging in for Philadelphia, number 33. Line drive, that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be Got aggressive. That's a good that's sound good. coming off the bat, no, man. No, no, and no, as no. he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Number 11 in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Throw to first, and he dives back in safely. And a pitch. To short, could be two. Schmidt to second, and it's a double play to end the inning. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied, nothing, nothing. And welcome back. Now at the plate, Jeff Pence. Leading up for the Giants, the second baseman, Jeff Kent.
The wind of the pitch. There's the swing and a miss. Oh, and two now. Got him. And now one away. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing fit. tumbles out of his the hand and just drops off the table Bill. at the last moment. Muller. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. And up next for San Francisco, Bill Mueller. Ground ball up the middle, and it gets by him. Batting six. One down. No shortstop. The batter will be the shortstop, Casey Schmidt. Schmidt. Lined into right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That's out number two. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he that is, is just mowing him down. Right He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step Whoa, out of the man. box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Stan Juarez, the next giant to hit. Smoked on the ground a second. And that ends the inning. We head on down to the top of the third. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back. Out of the third inning. And now the center fielder, number six. Leading off for Philadelphia. The center fielder, number six. Ortiz, back to work. Swing and a ball popped up. That one gets down for a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and part of the order coming up right behind him. Oh, this pitch rides in too far. That got him. Well, he's just glad that he got hit with an off-speed pitch there instead of a fastball. Man, that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity. Line, and that's a base hit. Now a long throw home. It's off the mark, and he scores. And it's 1-0. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No yeah, messing man. around right there. The right that's field. about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now it's the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Bobby Aubrey. And that one fouled off. And he'll one. Base hit. They won't test it here. Base is loaded, no outs. Back-to-back -back base hits, solid swing from start to end, on time with everything, really good balance, nice extension, and he met it out front for the line drive knock. Now the base is loaded, big opportunity for them to break this game open. And now the catcher comes up to him, number 24. That to right. Base hit, one run in already. Runner held at third, and they'll be loaded again with nobody out. Well done. Drives in the run. I don't know how he's Number able two. to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on. Number two stands in for the Phillies. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open.
Line drive, caught! Now batting, shortstop, Desi Davenport. Desi Davenport digs in now. Flied out his first time. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Ground ball could be two. Goes to second for one. Back to the pitcher covering. It's a double play. Nicely done, and that'll do it. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Phillies two and the Giants nothing. Back here at the ballpark as we go to the last of the third. Now it's the Giants catcher, Brian Johnson. The catcher. The pitch. Johnson. And a swing and a miss. The pitch. Way outside. And that's ball one. Boog, it looks like somebody missed the swing sign. That's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all game long. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. One gone here. Just beautiful placement of the splitter right there. Exactly where you want it with two strikes to get that swing and miss. And he's worked very hard to be able to command that pitch. It's a tough pitch to get a grip on, but he's one of the best at throwing it where he wants to. And up next for the Giants, Charlie Hayes. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And here it comes. And a swing and a miss. One down, base is empty. Line drive, base hit. And that's going to get into the corner. Around first, digging for two. Gavin with a relay throw, but he's in there easily. you got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the Giants' leadoff hitter. Number seven in there, and it's 0-1. Hayes, the runner at second with one away. And fouled off. And the right-hander deals. Next offering is outside. Runner leads away at second. Got him swinging. Out number two. Well, a well-thrown splitter is going to do exactly that. Get you off balance thinking number it's a fastball. Number six. Very similar to a changeup, but oftentimes a split's going to no. have even more downward movement with more velocity. Good pitch. So up next, JT Snow. First offering, misses the mark. Ball one, no strike. Let's go! All right, let's win! On the ground, right side. And that'll do it. On to inning number four. It's the Phillies two and the Giants nothing. 
And welcome back. New inning getting started. Here's the left fielder, number 33. The left fielder, number 33. And he deals. And it's fouled away. One wrapped foul. The why to kick the pitch. That one hit to right. Juarez drifts towards it, brings it in, and there's one down. Now batting, number 11. Number 11 now at the plate. That one the other way. He makes the catch, and there's two down. The batter, number six. Here's the center fielder, number six. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. And that one is lifted in the air. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Down quickly go the Phillies. They're up 2 nothing. Bottom of the inning, and stepping in is the speedy Barry Bonds. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. There's the strike. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Ground ball right side, and that's just foul. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. The 2 In the air, left field, number 33. As this one sized up, pulls it in for the out. Now batting, the second baseman, Jeff. Kent. Jeff Kent, the next giant to hit. In there for strike one. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as his stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. The 0-1. And there's a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. This hitter's been seeing good velocity in the at bat. He's kind of set up for that changeup. He hasn't seen it yet. Looks just like a fastball out of the hand. One, two now. And down on strikes he goes. Two away now. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and now just batting. couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Here's the third baseman, Bill Mueller. The other way, brings it in for the third out. Giants down in order. They trail it here, 2-0. Leading off for Philadelphia, the second baseman, Kevin Jordan.
The right-hander back to work. Swing and a pop-up. He's got it. One away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Rollins. Now, Scott Rollins. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Sing, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. Slapped foul. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. Rolled over to third. Tosses across the first. And a couple of quick outs. Well, he's doing a nice job of Up keeping the ball out of the air. The lets the defense Lewis. work behind him Bobby. with another ground ball. Aubrey. Good execution. Bobby Aubrey will hit next. Up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He doesn't have a play, and they don't get the out. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. So digging in now for Philadelphia, number 24. Checks over to first, back safely. Another throw over. Yeah, they're keeping him close. Swings and fouls one off. Aubrey off of first with two away. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Mueller sizing this one up. Makes the catch in and goal. One left for Philadelphia, but they're on top 2-0. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And digging in for San Francisco, Casey Schmidt. All well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Hit hard. That gets through. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Now Just kept it simple. Right Played fielder. Pepper with the middle of the yeah. infield and took it back oh, where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Juarez stands in now and watches strike one. Tying run at the plate in for a strike and that is strike two love how vocal the umpire is today no doubt in the hitter's mind catcher's mind and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call Come on, in the air left field makes the grab one down Up next to the Giants, the catcher, Brian, Brian Johnson, Johnson, the next to hit. And he swings oh and misses at the initial offering. And a pitch. All one there. The 1-1. One, one. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. The pitch. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. And puts the squeeze on that. Two down.
Now batting the designated hitter, Charlie. And now it's the Giants DH, Charlie Hayes, doubled in his first A.B. Line drive to short and caught. So the Giants leave one. They're still down. It's two zip. Welcome back. All set for the top of the sixth. And now the first baseman, number two. The first baseman, number two. The wind and the pitch. To the right side. He steps on the bag. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Up next for Philadelphia, the shortstop. Desi Davenport. And now for the Phillies, Desi Davenport. And first offering is fouled off. Right-hander kicks deals. Check swing. He went. And the count is 0-2. And a pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Kent makes the catch. Two down. Now batting. Number 33. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder. Number 33. Next pitch is popped up. Mueller makes the catch, and that'll do it. Top of the order, two up in the home half of the six. It's the Phillies two, and the Giants nothing. Back here at the ballpark, digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, number seven. Leading up. He's Will someone that you nine. might not describe as the having elite leader. level speed, number but seven. he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Oh, and the first good. pitch misses for ball one. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. There's the strike. Two ball, one strike. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. And there's one down. The first baseman, number six. JT Snow. Now the number two hitter, JT Snow. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Several 0 2 counts in this one. This guy out there has just been attacking the hitters. Really good job so far. Left hand hitter waits. Oh, that got him on the mound. No chance for a play, and let's hope the righty's not hurt on the mound. Now batting, left fielder, Barry Bond. Barry Bonds, the next giant to hit. In the air, out towards right center. Aubrey sizes this one up. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. Off the bat, I thought they were going to score their first run of the game, and that feels like a tough break, but look at the bright side. Really good contact at the plate, and now they're working with not just one, but two runners in scoring position, so they'd love another base hit right here. Up next to the zone. Yeah, the batter now, Jeff Kent. First pitch doesn't find the zone.
One down, runners at second and third. Next offering is in for a strike. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Righty delivers. In the air, out to center. Number six, moving in on this one. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And there's two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but now a competitor Third like him, base. he is looking forward Third. to make it up for it in his oh, next at bat. So digging in, Bill Mueller. Right, and that's in there for strike one. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. And that one fouled off. Second and third, two down. Got him! That's the inning. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Julian Tavares. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Julian Tavares. We go to the top of the seventh, and here is number 11. Leading off for the Phillies, the designated hitter. Number 11. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. That's out to center field. And there's one down. Now batting, number six. And now the center fielder, number six. And first offering is fouled off. On the ground to the left, and it goes just foul. Next offering is foul back. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He decides to eat it, and they come away without a doubt. Now back, the second base. Kevin Jordan. Runner on at first with one gone. Kevin Jordan stands in for the Phillies. Over to first, and he's saved. Rips that one center field. Has some trouble with it. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Back-to-back -back singles. I could watch base hits like that one all day long. And so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now here is Scott Rollins. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. In there, and it's 0-1. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then 
if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball. And they put the tag on him. That's the third out inning over. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Phillies two and the Giants nothing. And welcome back. Bottom of the seventh. Here's the shortstop we at the play. The Casey Giants. Schmidt. The shortstop. Casey. Schmidt. With the right hander back to work. Hey. Strike one. I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in at bats. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced in this one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Not a swing you want to watch again. And the 0-2. Right side. And that one handled. He takes it on his own. One up, one down. Now batting. Right fielder. Dan Juarez. Stan Juarez. The next giant to hit. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time. And he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. That one fouled off. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Two gone. Well, he's been racking up the strikeouts. And what's so impressive, not walking anyone. I mean, Ryan. this guy's just going right Johnson. after hitters, filling up the strike zone. And it looks like hitters, they're trying to think with him, but they just are a pitch behind. Dominating stuff out there on the mound. Brian Johnson getting ready to hit. First offering misses the mark. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. The 1-0. And that right misses down. off the outside edge. Strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. They haven't scored yet in this game, and with that swing, definitely trying to get on the board. That's the way guys go about their business today. Next pitch downstairs, and the count's full. Two outs. Fought off foul. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Giants go down quietly. They trail things here. 2-0. Righty reliever out of the pen, number 49. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. We're at the top of the eighth. Now it's the cleanup hitter for the Phillies. Bobby Aubrey. Philadelphia. The right fielder. Bobby Aubrey. The pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. Wow, that's how you're close to the zone. And now the 1. Swing. This one in the air, right field. And there's one away. Now batting, number 24. Here's the Phillies catcher, number 24. 
This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. And a foul ball. And the pitch. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Clearly he was geared up for the fastball right there. Maybe got a little jumpy and excited out of the hand, but he certainly didn't miss a stitch. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Two away. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three-pitch strikeout. All fastballs. Man, he's got a now lot of confidence in that pitch right two. now. And digging in for Philadelphia, number two. Swings through that one, 0-1. Oh one. The pitch. Foul ball there. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Phillies down in order, but they hold the 2-0 lead. Nice no-hit inning there. Nice no-hit. Out of the bottom of the eighth, and here is Charlie Hayes. Leading up for the Giants, the designated hitter, Charlie Hayes. the pitch and he grounds one back up the middle and a base hit right there off to a good start with a leadoff now well that may end up being an at bat we go back to later on when this game is over couldn't get any air under it but he smoked that ball back up the middle timing was just perfect got great wood on it and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it now a huge at bat in this game coming up and now it's going to be number seven. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And downstairs. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And a count one and two. Outside corner got him looking. He can't believe it. Well, oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked the very comfortable with the plate. A little Pitching. unsure of his timing right now. Oh. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. JT Snow, the next giant to hit. One for three. First offering, and it just misses. That one missed. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. 2-0. Swing and a miss. It's so impressive how the velo is still there, even this deep into the outing. Hayes at first, one gone. On the ground, right side. Steps on first for the out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Very strong. And now, Barry Bonds, known for his late inning heroics. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. 
And first offering is fouled off. Runner at second, two down. The tying run at the plate stays alive. And a swing and a miss. Out number three. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Phillies two and the Giants nothing. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the shortstop, Desi Davenport. The shortstop, Desi Davenport. The wind of the pitch. Bounce to the right. And that squirts through. And the leadoff man aboard. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Just one of those seen eye base hits Number through the three. infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Number 33 stands in for the Phillies. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. Runner on the goal. Snow. He handles it himself. Now one gone in the ninth. Now batting. Number 11. Next to hit. Number 11. The oh, bottom of the order here, Boog. You got to go right after this guy. As they look to pick up an add-on run. And the number nine guy at the plate. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. And ball one. Clearly he didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. Runner at second here, one gone. Out towards left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two down. Now back. Number six. Here's the center fielder. Number six. Foul ball. Two outs and one in scoring position. Foul off left side. <laughs> oh, and two now. This one popped up. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And that's the inning. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six, coming up. It's the Phillies two and the Giants nothing. Welcome back. So bottom of the nine. Now the Giants four hitter, Jeff the Kent. Giants. The second baseman, Jeff Kent. And he deals. And that one fouled off. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. And he is just dialed in right now. Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. Next offering is fouled back. 
That one misses. Now one and two. Slice to right, and a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost now start back. for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game, so they'll talk it over. And the batter now, Bill Mueller. And the first pitch misses for ball one. They say it went. No, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Righty to the plate. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. a swing and a miss now one away well you always want those pitches back as a hitter it caught a lot of the zone and definitely no not the intended 35. location but those splitters can dance around and miss a barrel even when they're not perfectly executed and the batter will be the shortstop Casey Schmidt first pitch doesn't find the zone Kent, the base runner at first with one out. Fouled off. He was late. A 1-1. One, one. Just off the inside edge. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. in for the out. The batter, the right fielder, Dan Warhead. So Ladies now pinch hitter for the Lewis Giants, Hinton, Jordan Wogan. Runner on first with two gone for him. Number eight, Jordan Wogan. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. Kicks and fires. Popped up. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Phillies claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. 2 nothing. your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi saying so long.
your hand off my penis! <laughs> <laughs>